I'm recording on this computer, not on, yeah. not on the cloud. Okay. In gallery view? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many times have we been doing this? Uh, this, like, seven. some dreamer? Yeah. Six or uh, that six or seven I think seven this is seven I think it is too because I wrote six on the last weeks okay sweet all right cool all right all right happy Friday Mount Baker and welcome back to this week's thrilling episode of staff trivia I am here with Mr. Mann Mrs. Aldis Ms. Baisden and Mrs. Spock and we are this is our seventh week by the way of summer staff trivia which is really exciting and um, a great sustainable tradition that we've established here. And uh, this week we are gonna play a little staff trivia. So um, the way this is gonna work is Mrs. Spock and myself have come up with questions for our various contestants, including one another. And we are gonna take turns asking our contestants these questions. We will be keeping track of score and there is a very large monetary prize available to the individual who wins uh, today's contest. Is everybody ready? Yep. Questions? Comments? All right, Mrs. Schwack, you're going to start us off? Yep. Okay. All right, Ms. Aldis, you're up first. Oh. The question oh, wait, wait. is... I forgot to ask, how many questions are you asking each person? Three. Okay, good, me too. Okay, good, good. Okay. 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 So it's kind of, is it kind of like three strikes, you're out? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. Sure. Okay. Great. No, nobody's ever out. Okay. Everybody wins. Okay, wonderful. Everybody, everybody wins staph infections. Yeah. All right, your first question is, what is the world's largest ocean? The Pacific Ocean. That is correct. Nice. Yay! Thank you. That was the easy one. <laughs> all right, um, do we want to just keep going, like, all three at once? Oh, you want me to ask somebody else one now? I can do that. Yeah, let's oh, do I that. Got, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I am going to, okay. Mrs. Spock. Okay. I, for your questions, I, you, you'll have three questions all together. I took an anagram of your last name, S-H-P-A-K, and came up with new random words that you may or may not have heard of. <laughs> Found out what those words are, and now I'm going to ask you and see if you know what the anagrams of your names mean of your name means. Okay? Okay. All right, here we go. So for this question, oh wait, oh no. <laughs> I can't minimize because I'm recording <laughs> and all my questions are on my computer. Wait, <laughs> wait, just exit out of full screen. It won't let me. It says you cannot minimize Zoom when you're recording the meeting. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have another game. <laughs> Do you want to we'll pause edit this part out? Recording. Just pause the recording. Oh yeah. Hang on. Pause. Okay, we're I'm back. glad I cleared my schedule this afternoon. I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, everybody. Okay, we're back. Okay. All right. The first anagram. Oh, and I guess I should make some. I should. I should say that there actually aren't that many anagrams of Mrs. Spock's last name with all, using all the letters. So it's. It's variations. I mean, it doesn't always use all the letters. For example, first anagram is the word calf. K-A-P-H. Does this word mean A, a fermented beverage made of mare's milk originating in, Ma in Mongolia? Is it B, a woolen shawl traditionally worn in areas of Eastern Europe? Or C, the eleventh letter of the Hebrew alphabet, Kap, K A P H. You know, my dad is Jew, and I grew up learning a little bit of Hebrew, but I couldn't tell you if that is true. What the eleventh letter of the alphabet is? It sounds like it could be right. Um, I'll just go with that. C. You're right. It is. It's the 11th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it right. 
I could not find pronunciation, but K-A-P-H is in fact uh, the 11th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. There is a fermented mare's milk beverage from Mongolia, however, that's called kumis, and it's absolutely disgusting. But that's an aside. That is a thing, though, unfortunately, that I have had. Well, you know, it kind of threw me off because there's kefir, which oh, yeah, there's that too. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. cough. So, yeah, I think it's cough. I think that's how you say it. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't well, know. I'll ask my dad well later. Well done. Well, just <laughs> your Jewish heritage. Thank you. All right, um, Jolene, let's ask you a question next. Here it goes. Uh, which kind of bulbs were once exchanged as a form of currency? Bulbs? Like light bulbs? <laughs> <laughs> you could think of that, or maybe like, like a type of flower. Oh, okay, because I was thinking a flower, I would say uh, maybe, oh shoot, I have those and I can't even think of what they're called. Dahlias? Dahlia bulbs? That's my you final answer. That's, that's your final answer? It's a great yeah. guess. It was actually tulips. Oh, really? Yeah. In Holland? <laughs> I should have listened to my mom. Where did this happen? <laughs> I, I didn't do the research. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or Mount Vernon. Very, one or the other. Very thorough. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe okay. Mr. Man can enlighten us on where it happened. <laughs> That's okay. It wasn't that wasn't required for the job today. So okay, Mr. Man, are you ready? Yes. I am going to ask you. So for those of you who don't know, although I think most of you do, Mr. Man's first name is Scott. And so um, I am going to ask you questions about the Scott Paper Company. Okay, here we go. Reply. <laughs> the first question is, the Scott Toilet Paper Company first put paper on a roll in which year? 1904, 1890, 1956. When, when did they first Start the toilet paper roll, rolling. This line of questioning really wipes me out, but I'm gonna go with uh, the 1800 one, whatever it was, 1890? <laughs> you are correct, 1890. <laughs> I wanna say you're on a roll, but maybe I don't know. Oh. So we can't really do that, can no. we? No. Hey. My, minus points for all of this. <laughs> Banter. Okay, well done. All right. Uh, Miss Lee, you're up. Okay. Okay, your question is, in which place is it illegal to catch mice without having a hunting license? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say Turkey. It is you illegal know to do that in Turkey. Yeah, that would make sense. It's actually Ohio. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you do your research? Maybe it's also Turkey. I mean, do you know it's only Ohio? <laughs> it could be. Wait, you I mean, have to have a license up those to kill mice laws. in Ohio? What? You have to have a license to kill mice in Ohio? Yeah. Wow. No, <laughs> uh, it doesn't say kill. It says catch. Oh, catch. Oh. So theoretically, you could just catch a bunch of mice uh, with a hunting license. What if you're a cat? Does that does it matter? Wow. Then you'll probably get pulled over and get a ticket. Ohio, oh, they spend a lot of time on some rules. Maybe they should fo focus on some bigger picture items in Ohio. But anyway, that's just me. Okay, I stand corrected. It's not turkey. <laughs> Oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. So close, though. I know, so close. I know. They're almost the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Back to Spock anagrams. Okay, the next word is caps. K-H-A-P-S. Caps. What is this word? Is it A, a community organization representing a group of clans, mostly in northern India, 
Is it B, the term used to refer to desirable recruits during rush week, a traditional vetting process in the Greek system of sororities and fraternities? Or it, are they immature olives, largely used in Mediterranean cooking for their bright, salty taste? Caps, K-H-A-P-S. I have no idea, but I'm gonna go with A. The community organization representing a group of related clans in Northern India? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> That's what it is. That's amazing. I feel like Miss Lee has a tell or something. You can't be this smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, well done. That's impressive. Very good. Thank you. All right, Miss Aldis. Are you oh, ready boy. for your next question? Not at all. What is the diameter of Earth? Oh, come on. I said I wanted no EMM questions. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Can I have? I'll give you a hint. It needs to be in miles. OK. Oh. Um, the diameter of Earth? Oh, my gosh. You couldn't make this one multiple choice? I can right now. Would you like me to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A, 7,000 miles. B, 8,000 miles. Or C, 9,000 miles. Really? I thought, when you said A, I thought, no way, it's that one. That's too small. But, um, C. <laughs> It's 8,000 B. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay. <laughs> well, it was a good guess. It was, thanks, yeah, thanks for narrowing it down for me. Because I was yeah. nowhere near that number at all. So, great. Minus well, one. I no was problem. Problem with that one, too. Did you know? Did either of you guys know? Scott or no. Jolene, did you know? Yeah. No. Okay. No clue. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dave Lewis. Okay, oh, it's my turn. Okay, Mr. Mann, are you ready? Yep. Back to the Scott Tissue Paper Company. <laughs> okay. Um, the Scots are famous for inventing the Sani Towel, which was later renamed Scott Tissue Towels, for the following use. To help prevent the spread of germs and fluid in area slaughterhouses, to continue to improve their business relationship with the burgeoning timber industry, or for use in classrooms to help prevent the spread of the common cold. The sanity towel. A. A, to help prevent the spread of germs and fluids in area slaughterhouses. That is incorrect, although use, that would be nice. <laughs> I hope they did something. No, it was actually C, for use in classrooms to help prevent the spread of the common cold. Wow. I You're definitely thought it was me. Of those Scots. Huh. huh. Yeah. That's okay. interesting. A little bit of trivia there. All right, Miss Basin, are you ready for your next question? As long as it's easy. <laughs> I can't guarantee that. That's a guess. <laughs> um the next question is, when was William Shakespeare born? What? Do I get multiple choices? <laughs> sure, we'll, we'll give you some multiple choices. Uh, was it 1600, 1564? Oh, oh, sorry. Was it 1600, 1564? or 1473. Can you say the first one again? Cause I, you kind of cut out. 1600. Um, what were my other choices again? Sorry. Oh, you're stalling now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get one right. <laughs> um, 1600, 1564, or 1473. Yeah. I'm going to just go with B. The, That's the correct. <gasps> Yay! 
Good work. Scott, did you know that one? You did? Okay. I didn't. I celebrate his birthday every year. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott, bonus points. Do you know what month he was born in? Um, no. He just celebrates December. it all year long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> all year, every year. It's That's why I walk around day. mumbling to be or not to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. People have no idea. We, now it all makes sense. Yeah. Yes. That's amazing. He thinks April. it does. It's April. <laughs> April. April, yeah. Is it? Anybody a date? Oh, wait, I, I just made that up. Is it no, it's April. April. <laughs> Wow. April 23rd. Oh, man. Yeah. I just felt like he was a Taurus. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, should I go? I'll take us out of order, I guess. But does that matter? It should be my er. Wait, your turn? No, I just did jo join. I know. But you have three. Oh. I have two. I don't really care. But... I'll do an, I'll do I'll one for you. you. I'm the only one who hasn't had a second question, I guess is what I mean. Yeah, 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 I'll go. Okay. So we're going to continue on the theme of Ohio because I, and <laughs> almost near there. Yeah. I mean, it's close. You're yeah, people get confused. Yeah. It's fine. So oh, that area. <laughs> <laughs> on Sundays, what is it illegal? to sell in Columbus, Ohio? Toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> no. Is that your final answer? What is it illegal to sell on Sundays? In Columbus, Ohio. In Columbus? Mm -hmm. um, guns. Guns. You know, it's actually cornflakes. Cornflakes? What? Yes. What? No. Made that up. Then, why? Why? Yeah. You, you by don't. now. Oh, man. I want to go with my answer. Toilet paper and guns you cannot sell in any <laughs> oh, order Sunday. on Sundays. Maybe like, at the end of this, I'll look it up real quick. Okay. All right. So why? Okay. I'm not doing very well. Wait, but, is it my turn again to ask another question so we have enough questions? or is It, it doesn't matter. No, let's just, let's, like, this is round three. Right? Okay. Okay, so I'll, yeah. go, I'll go to you. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the last anagram of your name that I picked out is, I'm going to say it Pock, although it's P-H-A-K, so that could be. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the word is P-H-A-K. I'm just trying to keep it school appropriate. Just a minute, please. Okay. Pock. P-H-A-K means what? A, it is a blend of Thai spices commonly used in noodle dis dishes. It is an acronym for the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, P-H-A-K, or it is a slang term for a large harvest, har sorry, it is a slang term for a large harvest of poppy seeds to be sold on the black market. Ah. You know, I'm gonna go with A. A blend of like Thai spices commonly used in noodle dishes? Yes. That is not correct. <laughs> I, I feel like maybe because it is not actually a word and very difficult to pronounce, it really is just an acronym for the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. <laughs> 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 Although I really like my one about the illegal poppy seed harvest. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even come up with that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have insider knowledge about some things. No, no, I don't know. I just, I was trying to think of how the word sounded, I think, and come up with exotic things. <laughs> okay. Anyway. You nailed it. You absolutely <laughs> nailed it. Thank you. All right. Wait, Miss Aldis, you're up now, right? Uh, sure. I think so. Okay. Because you haven't had three questions. No. Yeah. Okay. So, in which country was the Caesar salad invented? <laughs> um, I mean, was it 
the United States because I feel like it's very a white dressing salad is very American even though it, it seems like it would be something from like Spain or Greece or something like that uh, your face is telling me the wrong <laughs> so, uh, you know those are all all great guesses. It actually was invented in Mexico. No oh. way. Yeah. Is that why it's called Caesar? Chavez? Maybe. Oh, you know, that's wow. a great connection. Do you know, Mr. Man? Wow. I do right. like that dressing. That's good. All right. It's Mexico. I would not have, yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Like, I'm sorry. So either until I read this, so it's I, fine. Yeah, I feel like you, you get Caesar salad at Italian restaurants all the time. Totally. What's that about? What's that connection? I <laughs> wonder if they may they uh, adapted it and added like some Italian spices to the Caesar dressing. I don't know. Yeah, I felt like it probably wasn't from Italy just because of that, but right. yeah. Um, Did, isn't it true that the pizza originated in China? Am I correct that the origins of the pizza are Chinese? I feel like I heard something like that once. I didn't wow. do any research on it, but I heard it. <laughs> like a new, a new elective. It would be like the food or the history of food origin. Except I kind of feel like I learned that when I was sitting in a nutrition and wellness class one time. Actually, I bet Mrs. Graham knows. We should yeah. Friend and see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. No, I don't. All right, last one. Okay, the last question about the Scott Toilet Paper Company is, okay, Mr. Man, which of the following of these are true? And it could be, I, I guess I didn't say, it could be all or none, or it's three statements and you have to decide how many of these statements are correct. Could be more than one, could be none. Okay, which of the following are true? Uh, Scott created and sold the paper towel holder to boost sales of its paper towels. Scott company introduced, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I can't say it. Scott introduced Mr. Thirsty Fiber. Mr. Thirsty, <laughs> Mr. Thirsty Fiber. Fiber. Uh, an advertising gimmick designed to convey the absorbency of Scott products. <clears throat> uh, Scott introduced Zorbic, um, a pad of porous laminated paper used by the army as a gauze pad and a filter in the canister, canister of gas masks during World War I. So which of those statements are true? They created the toilet paper holder solely to sell more toilet paper, a uh, paper towel holder. They introduced Mr. Thirsty Fiber to uh, convey absorbency, or they created Zorbic, which is used by the army in World War I. Um, I'm going to say they're all true. Yes, they are all true. <laughs> I don't know why wow. I can't look. I didn't say that on there. Those are, in fact, all true. Sorry, I was told myself to keep a straight face when I said Mr. Thirsty Fiber, but I just couldn't. But yes, they did <laughs> all of those things. That is all wow. true. Yes, well done. Very well done. Nailed That's it. amazing. <laughs> all right. Miss um, Basin, your last question is, what is a group of frogs known as? For example, like a school of fish, a murder of crows. Is this multiple choice? No. <laughs> uh, um, uh, can I get like a first letter? <laughs> Why is that wheel um wheel of fortune? That's awesome. Yeah, wheel of fortune where they touch the TV. Yeah. Um uh, I don't how about I can't. I mean, there's no rules really to this game, so it starts with an A. An A? Yeah. Oh. And it's um, four letters. And it's a group of frogs? Yeah. Wow. 
Uh, I, let's see. Um, I have no idea. Um, I would say a group, but that's more than four word letters. Yeah. And it's two words. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Does anyone else know? Wait, is this a word we know? Yes. It's a common it's a, word? Yes, for sure, 100%. Can I give you another hint and see if you guys can get it? Maybe yeah. you can closely get it. Um, they often try to recruit you. Oh, an army, an army of frogs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I've never oh, heard of that. Gosh. Army of frogs. <laughs> I did not hop to that one quickly. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, sorry, I can't help it. It's... All right. Meg, are you ready for your last question? Okay, I'm ready. I have my helpers, so we're uh, we really <laughs> work to nail this one. <laughs> Since I know how savvy and how much you love social media, I thought that that would be a fun question to ask you. Awesome. Which country was TikTok created in? Oh, um, uh, gosh, I want to say, uh, oh, I, um, <laughs> it's in the news all the time and I want to say it's China or Korea. Or China. That is correct. Oh, that would have been embarrassing if I wouldn't have remembered that. Whew. Look Good at me. I'm super savvy. I don't know what you're talking about. You only have one point. You are. I mean, you, you. Winston, Winston just looked down at the sheet and he's like, You only have one point. <laughs> wow. It's a crowd it's here. Jeez. Did you get all the, the toilet paper points? <laughs> She's only got okay. one question. No, you didn't? Okay. No, we're done. We're good, right? We all did our three? Yeah, that was three. We all tied. <laughs> wow. Actually, that's not true. No, that's not true. Mr. Mann and, and, and Mrs. Spog led the group with two apiece. Two apiece? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought Solid 66%. We're... <laughs> I thought if Mr. Man got all three, he should officially change his name to Mr. Thirsty Fiber. But that was just, <laughs> just a suggestion. So I guess maybe guys... we need a new school mascot. Ooh, yeah, Mr. right. Who, <laughs> Mr. Thirsty think... Fiber? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Abe and Winston should illustrate Mr. Thirsty Mr. Fiber. And... Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, very funny. Oh, I'm so patient, you guys. I'm sorry I was delayed on my, I made you wait, but. It was I, worth it. It's fun. W worth every moment. Yeah. So I guess uh, Ms. Spock and Mr. Mann get to split the $1 million prize, so you should probably contact Coach Lepp about that. Um, the, athletic, the athletic department award for staff trivia? Yeah. I, I thought we yeah. had a free trip to mm -hmm. Florida. $1 million. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, <laughs> yeah, you must. I heard there's yeah, really good I deals. I think there's like really good dollars. deals, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, this is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> thanks, thanks, everybody. All right, good, good work, have everybody. Good day. All right, bye. 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 Do I have to stay on with you so I can figure out how what to do next? Sure, okay. Did you stop recording? Oh, no, I forgot. Okay. All right, see you guys.